Most college football players from the Mountain West Conference failed to make it to the NFL, but this two-star recruit was not only drafted in the second round, but also went on to become one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. So how did he do it? Well, here's the story of Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams' unlikely story to stardom began at the prestigious Palo Alto High School in California. Adams is arguably the biggest name out of the glamorous alumni list of Palo Alto. Some others that attended the high school include James Franco, Jim Harbaugh, Keyshawn Johnson, Jeremy Lin, and a handful of Olympians. He also shared the wide receiver room during his high school years with eventual San Francisco Giants outfielder Jock Peterson. In high school, Adams was a two-sport athlete, playing both basketball and football. Through his two years on the football team, he played on both sides of the ball as a wide receiver and cornerback. As a receiver, he caught 92 passes for over 1,500 yards for 18 touchdowns, and on defense, he recorded 44 tackles, two forced fumbles, two tackles for loss, and an interception. In his senior season, Adams was a key piece in Palo Alto making the CIF state championship. Despite ultimately making the correct decision to stick with football, Devontae was no slouch on the basketball court either. He lettered all four years, and in his senior season, he averaged 20 points, 5.8 rebounds, and 5.4 assists per game. Although he was a proven athlete and a leader on one of the best high school teams in California, Adams still went under the radar as a recruit. 24-7 Sports gave him a two-star ranking with a composite score of .7333 out of one. He was ranked 2,368th overall, 281st at wide receiver, and 233rd in the 2011 class. He would only receive one scholarship offer from Fresno State and signed with the Bulldogs on February 2nd, 2011. Outside of Fresno State keeping him in his home state of California and being his only offer, another factor that likely drew Devontae to commit with the Bulldogs was the talent at quarterback. During Adams' senior year of high school, Derek Carr took over as the starting quarterback of Fresno State, and in his 13 games, he threw for 3,544 yards, 26 touchdowns, and 9 interceptions. In 2012, the duo would share the field together for the first time. Along with this, the team brought in a completely new coaching staff, with Tim DeRuyter, head coach, Dave Schramm, offensive coordinator, and Nick Toth, the defensive coordinator, all beginning their stints at Fresno State. The coaching staff emphasized the passing attack, and the duo of Adams and Carr set the Mountain West Conference ablaze. In his freshman season, Adams pulled in 102 receptions for 1,312 yards and 14 touchdowns, averaging 12.9 yards per catch. He finished the season ranked first in his conference in receptions, receiving yards, and receiving touchdowns. Along with this, he quickly established himself as one of the best pass catchers in all of college football, ranking 8th in catches, 9th in receiving yards, and 3rd in receiving touchdowns. The Bulldogs finished 2nd in their conference with a record of 9-4. However, they were blown out in the Hawaii Bowl in a matchup against SMU by a final score of 43-10. Devontae put the college football world on watch in his freshman year and improved even further in his second and final season in college. With Carr being in his senior year in 2013, it made no sense for Devontae to stick around and risk his draft stock, playing with whichever quarterback succeeded Carr in the following season. Devontae once again was amongst the top receivers in all of the NCAA, pulling in 131 catches, first in the Mountain West and first in the NCAA, 1,719 yards, first in the Mountain West and second in the NCAA, and 24 receiving touchdowns, first in the Mountain West and first in the NCAA. The Bulldogs finished with a record of 11-2 and peaked at 14th in the BCS standings. In their postseason matchup in the Las Vegas Bowl against the USC Trojans, they were once again demolished by a final score of 45-20. Despite only playing in two of his four years of eligibility, Adams still finished his college career with the eighth most receptions, 13th most receiving yards, and most receiving touchdowns in Mountain West history. Although Adams had an incredible collegiate career, scouts were still a bit hesitant about how his game would translate to the NFL. Many speculated that his performance might have come as a result of Derek Carr's elite passing ability and did not feel that he performed as well against the higher quality defenses that he played against. After the combine, NFL.com gave him a prospect rate of 6.4 and projected that he would become a good starter within two years. He ranked as the top receiver in the draft based on his stats in college and 21st based on his combine ranks for a combined rating as the third receiver in his class. Already, Adams was proving that his initial recruiting rank as the 281st receiver in his high school recruiting class was an egregious oversight. His player comp coming into the draft was Mike Williams, and it was thought that he would be a very quality secondary receiver on a talented team. Despite being ranked as the third best receiver in his draft class, Adams would end up sliding in the draft. 
He was the ninth receiver off the board, being selected by the Green Bay Packers with the 53rd overall pick of the 2014 NFL Draft. Devontae Adams, wide receiver, Fresno State. The receivers selected in front of him were Sammy Watkins, Mike Evans, Odell Beckham Jr., Brandon Cooks, Kevin Benjamin, Marquise Lee, Jordan Matthews, and Paul Richardson. Once again, Adams was overlooked. However, he found himself in an incredible situation in Green Bay with Aaron Rodgers at quarterback. The Packers were a very talented team when Adams joined the roster in 2014. As a result of this, it took some time for him to become a full-time starter. In his rookie year, he started in 11 of the 16 games he played in and finished the regular season with 38 catches for 446 yards and three touchdowns. In the following year, he suffered an injury that caused him to miss three games, and he started in 12 of his 13 played games. In that time, he compiled 50 catches for 483 yards and one touchdown. In year three, Devontae had a big step up in his production, and once again came only one game short of starting in every game he played in. He came just three yards short of his first 1,000-yard season. In 2018, Adams would have the first 1,000-yard season of his career, and would hit 100 receptions for the first time as well. He was once again named to the Pro Bowl, and pulled in 13 touchdowns as well. His 2019 season was riddled with injuries that caused him to take a step back statistically. However, he was still named to the Pro Bowl. 2020 was arguably Devontae's best year of his career. In only 14 games, he still ranked second in receptions, fifth in receiving yards, and first in receiving touchdowns. At this point, it was becoming very difficult to argue that Adams was not the best receiver in the league. He also made his first appearance on the All-Pro team, and once again was named a Pro Bowler. He followed up that remarkable season with another elite showing, in what would end up being his final season with the Packers. In 16 games, he pulled in a career-high 123 catches, 1,553 yards, and scored 11 touchdowns. Once again, he was named an All-Pro. Due to the enormous contract that quarterback Aaron Rodgers received after the 2021 season, there was not enough cap space left for the Packers to give Devontae the money that he deserved. He was dissatisfied with the Packers' front office lack of effort to reward him with a contract that met his value. As a result of this, he was traded to the Las Vegas Raiders, reuniting with his former college teammate Derek Carr. Dave Ziegler and Josh McDaniels were hired by Mark Davis as the new regime in Las Vegas, and to start off the new era in silver and black, they made a big splash and surprised everyone by making the move to acquire Devontae. Many did not see it coming, not even Devontae himself. He would have kept playing in Green Bay despite the contract situation. He is known for being high class. He works hard and does not cause drama. He was asked about it in an interview. So, uh, you, you're not a diva. No, no. But great receivers are divas. <laughs> Like, like they, I ain't never said that, bro. Me. You're not a diva. Like, nah, man, I'm, why, I'm low key. Not, like, why not, though? The package sent Adams to the Raiders for a first and second round pick. This was a relatively cheap package for arguably the best receiver in the NFL. Many thought that this pairing of Adams and DC would result in Las Vegas being Super Bowl contenders. However, Carr struggled greatly learning the new offense under coach Josh McDaniels. Despite this, Adams still played at an elite level. He played a full 17-game season and caught 100 passes for 1,516 yards and 14 touchdowns. With Carr being released by the Raiders and signing with the New Orleans Saints in the offseason, the Raiders brought in Jimmy Garoppolo to be the team's new starting quarterback in 2023. There has been some speculation in the media that Adams wants out of Las Vegas after Carr's dismissal, but that has proven to be untrue. Devontae likes being closer to home, near his family in Palo Alto. Being in Vegas helps his relatives be able to travel more frequently and watch his games. On the field, Devontae is an elite competitor, but off the field, he is a family man. He is a loving and caring husband and father. He and his wife have two beautiful girls and form a gorgeous family. Regardless of how the remainder of his career plays out, Adams is on his way to being a first ballot Hall of Famer. For his age, he has shown no signs of regression, and his current contract keeps him in the league through the 2026 season. Along with this, he has a case of being the best receiver in Packers history. In only 116 games played, Adams caught 669 passes, second in Packers history, for 8,121 yards, fourth best in Packers history, and 73 touchdowns, second in Packers history, for 70 yards per game, third in Packers history. In Las Vegas, he will undoubtedly be the focal point of the team's passing attack, and with Jimmy G leading the team in the 2023 season under Coach McDaniels, there will be a lot more fluidity to be expected out of the offense. Now that the Raiders have a quarterback that understands the concepts and principles that McDaniels expects from the quarterback position, I believe that barring injury from Jimmy and Devontae, those numbers are barely scratching the surface of what is to come. What do you predict Devontae's stats will look like this upcoming season? Comment below and please smash the subscribe button. Now that you know Devontae Adams was a two-star athlete coming out of high school but dominates in the NFL, it begs the question, 
Is the high school recruiting system broken? Let us know what you think. We look forward to all of Devontae Adams' future success and appreciate his journey to becoming one of the greats. Thank you for watching the Halftime Show. If there are any other players that you want us to bring on our channel, let us know and stay tuned. It's probably time to start putting Devontae in that conversation because he is uh, he's that type of player, he's a special player.